What is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and finally we're back with another setup video. This time we're in the Janetta GT4. Now this is the first GT4 setup that I've ever done on ACC and um, it's been a long time coming. Obviously I've been focusing so much on my league races and stuff like that. Been driving, killing myself in a Lambo and finally I got some spare time to do some GT4 work man. And I was, I was pretty happy to be in this Janetta man. It was probably one of the most anticipated cars for me personally in the GT4s when um, I found out that GT4s were getting released and I always thought that the Janetta is going to be the first car I really worked on because I used to love the Janetta back on P Cars 1 and um, yeah, always been one of my favourite GT4 cars but yeah, the setup is pretty good. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy it. I, did, I didn't change too much because there's not actually that much to change but I did try and make the car feel as quick and as stable as possible. Um, again guys if you want to support your boy head on over to my Patreon where there's a load of exclusive setups that are on there and the setups that I will be bringing out later on but if you want any of that exclusive um, content just jump on my Patreon support your boy and yeah anyway apart from that it's Crypto TMG. I'll be back at the end of the video to talk about the things I did change so yeah let's get stuck into this.
So you can see how far we actually started off of the final time we managed to get and it just shows you how much you can find just by really pushing the car and a lot of these laps you know the setup wasn't changed as i said as i'll show you in a minute the setup really isn't that different from default in some aspects but there was a couple of things that i did neaten up a little bit the back end was a little bit leery in places but you can see after 12 laps we've managed to make so much progress man and um just one sector where we didn't maximize uh, our time that was probably out of the last corner but i lost a little bit but um, other than that yeah the car felt pretty good as i said the janetta has always been one of my favorite cars man and the one thing i will say about the gt4s is there is a lot of time to find in just learning how to drive the car fast without touching setup you know learning the, the particular strengths of the car especially in the gt4s man and one thing i think they focused on which i think they've done a great job with the gt4s is what they've done with the uh the balance and the way some cars are super fast at the beginning but the tires do actually wear down quite a lot so that's something that i think would be great even if they brought that to the gt3 side of things but anyway into the setup um i didn't do i just changed it the tire pressures to make sure that the tire pressures were cool i put the traction up by one um i felt that the traction needed to be made the car a little bit more solid you see here i didn't bother with the brake pads one i actually thought brake pads two felt a little more stable to me um I softened the rear up a little bit on the wheel rate on the rear tires. I also put the um, bump stop range down on the rear quite a bit. Put the anti roll bar up at the back to help the rotation in the slow corners at the end of the uh, at the towards the last sector. And again, um, I think I went a couple clicks softer on the front and rear bump stop and rebounds. Man, I put the uh, I put the rear ride height up by two clicks, I believe, and went up one click on the on the rear wing. And that just helped with a lot of the actual oversteer coming out of the corner. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. It's Cryptic TMG. I'll catch you next time. Peace.